In our mediation work, and particularly with couples, we've noticed that their emotional pain can be so great that they just can't hear each other. It's a kind of empathy collision. So one thing that we suggest is that they practice negotiating a time out with each other for when their emotional fuel tanks are low. If you practice with each other before it actually happens, you're more likely to know what's going on when things get out of hand. Hello, I'm Shanti Garber. In this life hack, we're going to explore ways of creating space for self-empathy when your emotional fuel tanks are low. So let's see what usually happens when both people are in big pain. When I really need you to listen to me, you're just not there. It's as if you've disappeared. What do you mean? I spend hours listening to you. Sometimes that's all we do, just talk. You've no idea. See, there you go again. It's all about you, you, you. There's never any space for me. As you can see, this conversation is going nowhere fast. So how can we break the cycle of hurt and frustration and get some genuine listening going? If you're feeling overwhelmed and need space for self-empathy and time to reflect, one way is to negotiate a time out. If it's a relatively mild situation, you could say just a minute to give yourself space to finish what you're doing before giving your attention to your partner. If the situation is more intense, you could try, can I just take a moment to think about this? Or could we come back to this? Or should we sit down and discuss this? Or if you're on the phone, something like, well, could I, could I just ring you back in 10 minutes? Alternatively, you could communicate, I'm going to take a walk around the block for five minutes and I'll, I'll be back in five minutes to talk about this. We've noticed that it's really helpful for the other person if you give them a time frame and take responsibility for reconnecting when you're ready rather than leaving it vague or waiting for them to come and find you. If you take responsibility for reconnecting, that will help build trust for next time. So let's see how this plays out in a role play. Food's ready. Just a minute. Okay. Food's on the table. I'm in the middle of something. Can you, can you just give me five minutes? Okay, but can you set an alarm? All right. Your mother's on the phone and she wants to know if we're coming to, coming to theirs for Christmas. What do you think? Oh, I just need a moment to think about that. Can I, can I come back to you in 10 minutes? Things haven't been good between us lately. I'm just not sure about our future. Oh, uh, could, we, could we just sit down and, and take a moment to talk about this? All right then. When I really need you to listen to me, you're just not there. It's as if you've disappeared. Well, I can hear this is really important to you. And at the same time, I'm just feeling overwhelmed. Can you give me 30 minutes to clear my head and I'll come back to you and then I'll, I'll give you all my attention. How's that for you? All right then, so long as you do. So here are my five top tips for negotiating a timeout. Number one, try negotiating a timeout the next time that you just don't have the space to listen. Number two, a timeout will give you space for self-empathy and time to reflect on the situation. Number three, find a phrase or a way of negotiating a timeout that works for you, even if it's just a minute. Number four, here are some alternatives. Could I just take a moment to think about this? Or could we come back to this? Or should we sit down and discuss this? Or 
can I ring you back in 10 minutes? Or communicate. I'm going for a walk around the block and I'll be back in five minutes to talk about this. And finally, number five, if you negotiate a timeout, give the other person a time frame and take responsibility for reconnecting with them. This will help build trust for next time. This is something that you could practice with your partner or close circle so that you're prepared for this kind of empathy collision. Find out what works for them before you're both in so much pain that you just can't listen to each other. That's it for now. If you'd like to go deeper, you can like our Facebook page, you can follow us on Instagram, you can sign up for our mailer, our newsletter, you can join us on one of our online courses or our self-led courses, and of course, you can join us on one of our in-person events.